My name is Peter McGuire. In 1997, I created and launched Jazz Clubs Worldwide. The past year or so has been something of an existential crisis for the jazz scene worldwide. Upside or downside, Hit House, however, provided space and time for reflection. Jazz, My Life is a non-sequential series of my own personal recollection and thoughts about my own lifelong immersion in the world of jazz. If you feel inclined to do so, please click on the subscribe button and the notification Saxman icon. When I was stationed at RAF Tangmere, I gradually began to practice and get hmm, a, a kind of technique on the valve trombone. Little sessions here and there, nothing spectacular. From memory, I remember several um, horrendous versions of St. James Infirmary, which was uh, a tune particularly loved by the guitar players uh, and much uh, performed by my friends who did skiffle. I had quite a few friends at a, a teacher's training college uh, nearby Chichester, uh, and one in particular, Lila Horn, invited me to a party. This party was to be held uh, in Bedfordshire, outdoors, apparently on the highest point in the county. Now Bedfordshire, if you don't know where it is, is kind of north of London uh, and is not a particularly hilly part of the uh, United Kingdom, but it does have a rather spectacular area called the Dunstable Downs. And the party uh, turned out to uh, be happening at a very high point, uh, in Bedfordshire terms, about 250 metres above sea level, uh, in a, a wooded copse on the top of this hill. I hit, hitched there, it took me quite a long time and I eventually arrived, uh, and it was a, a spectacularly interesting party. Lots of people there, uh, musicians, uh, a bonfire, uh, but most interestingly, uh, there was a piano. This had been brought up the hill on a, an old Land Rover and put amongst the trees. So, it, the party went on throughout the night and in the middle of the night people got tired and curled up on their own or their girlfriends or... and uh, me too. Uh, I woke up quite early, the, the sunrise about 6am in the morning and looked around, nothing much to do, uh, there was a spectacular view from this hill and uh, anyway I decided I, I would play the piano. What else? Uh, you have to imagine that because I'd been there all night it seemed that a piano in the middle of woods at the highest point in Bedfordshire didn't seem at all strange. So I sat down and I started playing the piano with a 10 mile view. After about 10-15 minutes, suddenly from nowhere there appeared a scout troop being led by a scoutmaster complete with flag and they looked at me and I looked at them uh, and not really thinking about the absurdity of the situation I said good morning uh, and they returned a good morning and looking slightly puzzled walked on. Uh, as I say, it, it just never struck me as being odd because I'd been there all night, the piano was there, and, and it just seemed quite normal. However, some time later, it suddenly occurred to me that it was probably a, a rather bizarre situation for the, uh, the good boy scouts. On a hike, just walking on the, the, the Dunstable Downs, suddenly to come across an individual in the trees playing an upright piano. And in later years, I often wondered whether these Boy Scouts had gone home and related this story uh, to their disbelieving parents. Uh, of course, I never actually met any of the Boy Scouts who uh, I had this inadvertent encounter with, but I'm sure if uh, maybe somebody in the world who was in that Scout troop might r recall this rather strange situation. Um, it, it's curious because one often sees uh, sketches with pianos in odd places 
uh, on the side of cliffs and on beaches, etc., etc. But I actually um, found myself in a situation where I was playing the piano at the highest point in Bedfordshire amongst the trees at six o'clock in the morning. <laughs>